Paul Giamatti's performance is is just beyond it, to me even today. I haven't seen it in a while, but yeah, he just was. He, first of all, he's a brilliant actor, and 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 just but that performance is so specific, and as you say, so at times tragic. And he had he has such a there's a ponderous forlorn quality that's never he's never self pitying, and and that's what I love about his performance. He's never self pitying. He just accepts loneliness and 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 his own insecurities. He accepts them by the end of the movie, and then something else happens. But I also think your performance is, is well, thank you. pretty tragic in it as well. I it mean, is. as much as you are at times the, a comic relief, there is the that, that wonderful moment in front of the men's room where you say to Paul yeah. Giamatti, you will never understand my plight, that, or something along those that, lines. That, that was a very, very specific um, scene that Alexander Payne, would, it, he, he said to me, he goes, don't tell me everything, just let me find what's happening with you in this in this moment. And it's still, to me, even this day, there, it, there's a lot of ambiguity that goes into what he says, which is no one will ever understand my plight. But Alexander had me keep getting making it to almost, I, I in fact, it wasn't audible. It, I mean, you know, to really to like a normal human ear. And then whenever he was, he got what he wanted and we were moving on, he stopped me and he goes, now that is film acting. That's letting the audience, you're bringing the audience in. You're not, you're not taking anything to the audience. He goes, that's what film acting is about. And what I loved about Alexander Payne, I don't know how many people are familiar with his work, but, but he, um, he's not, he's a very old school guy. He's like Ilya Kazan, he's, he wants to be on the dolly with the camera. He wants to be very close to you. He wants to, he's a third character, even in a two character scene. He, the director, is so involved in the interpretation of, of what's happening emotionally. And I mean, he's a, he really is a, I, I, I think, you know, one day he'll be known as a legendary director. Oh, absolutely. If not already. Say, yeah, I would say. I he's... consider him already to be a legend. But. Yeah, I mean, that, the, those first three, four movies are uh, unbelievable. Yeah. You know, they're right out of the box. And I went to bat on three of them. On a, I met him on election. I got really close to being cast in Dermot Maroney's role in, Sh in about Schmidt. Oh wow! And then, and then he specifically was, let's you know, why don't, why don't we get together and work on this and see if if you're the right guy? And you know, that's the way it worked out. <laughs>